let's just get down to brass tacks here, Doran. You, th- you and I see things a little bit different here in terms of what the Steelers' biggest needs are going into this draft. So I've I've list I just tweeted it out my top five needs going in. Would you like to start or would you like me to start? I'll start. Okay, go ahead. I'll start. I, I mean, if you look at absolute needs, like I'm sitting here and looking at my roster. What do we need? What holes do we need to fill? And obviously, one is center, and the other is wide receiver. And if I look at my roster and I look at my quarterback position, I look at my offensive line, and I look at my receivers. What is the actual need between receiver and center? Now, you think now you're going to go in a different direction, obviously. And I, I know that we have our left tackle. We do. We're paying. He's a fourth round pick. You know, doesn't play that well, but we don't need a left tackle. We have a left tackle. So I'm looking at what is a more of a need, a number two wide receiver or a one a or a center. Then I look at my quarterback position. I look at Russell Wilson, who has played a lot of football. Can I mask over a lot of issues or not issues, but can I can I take the onus off of a center by having Russell Wilson, who has played a lot? Yes, you can. So my need of center to wide receiver probably shifts to wide receiver because I can't just rely on George Pickens being a potential number one, getting double covered every single play. Not he's not a separating wide receiver, and if he does get double covered and we don't throw him the ball, he's going to throw a fit. So I need somebody to take the onus off of his shoulders more than I would my center. And I know that Russell Wilson could take the onus off my center. So to me, it's wide receiver, it's center, then it's probably corner. Man, so you got tackle way down the list. So we don't. I don't need a center. I don't need, need a one. tackle. Yeah, you do. I I mean, it'd be great to have a better one, but I don't need that position. I'm not so sure that when it's all said and done, if both guys had to play a lot this year, that Nate Herbig wouldn't be a better center than Dan Moore Jr. as a left tackle. I just think that poorly of the guy. Nice man. I'm sure he's a great human being. He stinks. Just because they put him out there every day doesn't mean he's an offensive. Ta- he's a starting caliber left tackle in the NFL or a starting I capital, uh, uh, capable right tackle in I, the NFL. I, I totally agree. But so need wise, he is he's played a lot. He started what, he how many sucks. games? He's terrible. He's Same. awful. He's an he's a need. He's a get him the heck out of here. Offensive tackle is my number one need because I value it more than center. Like, I, I think you can make the argument that they need a center as much as they need an offensive tackle. In fact, I will make that argument. However, Ty's going to go to the position that I think is more important, and I'm going to say tackle. That's why those guys get paid so much money. It's important to protect the blind side. My number two hole will be center because, I mean, it's Nate Herbig. Nick Herbig. What? It's the Herbig guy. Nate. Nate. That's no good. They might say they have faith in that guy. They don't. They brought in Mitch Morse for a visit. They wanted to sign Mitch Morse. What's that tell you? They know that they need a center. My number three need is wide receiver. And they do need another guy. For all the reasons you laid out there, George Pickens as a number one, okay, you're waiting for him to take that next step. You're right. He doesn't create separation. He is going to get frustrated. And then what's the trickle-down effect? So that's a very real issue. I have a gap between my number three need and my number four need. My number three need, like I just said, wide receiver, number four is corner. The reason I have the gap there between wide receiver and corner is because I think Joey Porter Jr. is a better number one corner then I think George Pickens is a number one wide receiver. Would you agree with that? Right now, yes. Yeah. And I think I think he's only going to keep getting better. I would hope that that's the case for George Pickens. I have more faith in Joey Porter Jr. getting better. So when I have wide receiver as my third biggest need, that's not to say I don't think it's a need. I think it's a massive need. My fifth need is defensive line, and there's a significant gap between corner and D-line for me. They've got capable guys at defensive line. They're not great. They're old. Uh, Keanu Benton, I'm a believer in. Apart from that, you're looking at Cam Hayward, who was injured last year, and you're looking for at Larry Ogunjobi, who I just don't think you can have any faith in. So that's my rank. Offensive tackle, center, wide receiver, gap, corner, gap, defensive line. 